So I'm a part of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers street team. We help promote our brand and encourage our kids to learn the game. We have a quarterback challenge over here. Anyone's welcome to go to football. If you want to text Bill Bucks to 58124 for your chance to win four free tickets to the home opener against the 49ers. Right, and um, uh, what do you think about the Bucks so we're basically opening up the game of football to a larger audience, including kids. We have women in Rabbit Talk uh, game of football to all ages for women. Uh, we also have what's called the Junior Buccaneers program. It's only 24 dollars season. They get a football, a hat, a lanyard, a notebook, and a membership card. And they get exclusive emails for Junior Buck events to meet the players of the Black Football Tournament. So a lot of fun stuff. All right. Um, where can we find you on Twitter? So if you want to find us on social media, you can follow the official Buccaneers Twitter account. If you want to go online to our marketing department, you can find us on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Street Team website. That's also where you can find the Junior Bucks website to send up for that for a few Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Stand this aside and stay crossed. Go Bucks. This is a lifetime star reporter, Junior Tank. And today I'm with... Brandon from Gatorland. All right. Um, uh, so today we have a Gatorland. That's right, yeah. So this is Billy the Alligator, and we got Bert the Ball Python, and they're visiting today from Gatorland. And there's some of our animal ambassadors that are out here to let everybody see them, get a chance to get up close to personal gators, because it's not something you get to do every day. And we're having a good time out here at the Kids Expo. All right, um, what do you do in Gatorland? So we have, we have all kinds of cool stuff to do at Gatorland. So we're known as Central Florida's best half-day attraction. We got gators, crocodiles, snakes, bugs, birds, lizards, panthers, and bobcats, and we got a petting zoo, and a train ride, and a zip line, and a little splash park. A lot of fun stuff to do there. But me personally, I work with the animals there at Gatorland. I have fun. Um, well, sounds like you have everything there. And um, where can you find me on social media? So social media, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter. We got a YouTube channel called Gatorland Frogs. The cool thing is about the YouTube channel, all the proceeds go back towards these animals for their care and upkeep and towards conservation too. We have a conservation fund called Gatorland Global. And you can check everything out at our website, which is www.gatorland.com. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stand the side. Stay close. Alright, yeah, just like that. school groups throughout the year as well as our birthday parties. So odds are if you book a birthday party with Wonderworks, you'll probably talk to me at some point or another. Alright, um, can you tell me who your mascot is? Our mascot today, who is actually on site and dancing all around the uh, expo today, is Professor Wonder, and he is the scientist who created Wonderworks. So we thank him, and he's always around, and he's always a good time, so he's here today. Um, what's your favorite part of Wonderworks? My favorite exhibit is probably our 4D theater. And inside the 4D theater, it's almost like a movie theater, but better. So the screen's in 3D, the chairs are going to move around in shape, wind blows on you. It's like you're in the movie. It's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Hello, Professor. Oh, speak of the, speak of the professor, here he is. Yeah. Professor Wonder. Yeah, there you go. Nice shape. Right, right. The inversion tunnel, yes, yeah, that's right in the beginning, right? Yeah, I just really love it. And, um, what's your favorite? He loves it all. <laughs> yeah. He loves it all. He made it all. So he loves it all. Anyways, uh, what inspired you to work there? Well, I started in a different state. I had to transfer states to come to Florida and come work with other works. So I had a friend from high school, so I've been working for Wonderworks for a little while now. Alright. Yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching and stay on the flip side and stay positive. Awesome.
name is Mr. Ryan. Here at Victory, and our goal is to provide education to help inspire children, families, and communities to reach their highest potential. So here today at the Expo, we are actually having people break wood boards. So it's going to be really exciting. We're practicing them giving a yes, I can attitude and doing their best performance. So it's going to be really exciting. What are you guys doing here today? Can you show a little bit? Sure. Well, we're going to be going and we're going to be pushing through the board. So we're focusing on having a strong stance. We're going to have our hands up and then we're going to push through just like that. Oh, neat. Well, let's get a little demonstration. All so we're right. going to call it and we'll just get the mic and you guys can do the demonstration with them. Right now or in general? Okay. Okay. Well, in general. Well, everybody has 
throw in different personalities. A lot of people from Florida and the independent scene are the ones that I've gotten to share the ring with. But everybody's a different tale. And it's, I think that's the most interesting part of wrestling altogether. All right. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Stay on the flip side and stay close. Hello, my name is Joseph Rivera, USA Lifetime Star Reporter Junior King. And today I'm with... Remy Dunello. And, um, what do you think of uh, during uh, when you wrestle? Uh, what do you think of during the fight? I mean, uh, like, what is your reaction to the doing the best of my ability to make sure I don't get beat. I mean, you know, it's uh, potentially dangerous in there, so you got to protect yourself at all times. And while I'm in there, I'm just doing my best to make sure I stay safe and to try and get a victory at the end of the day. All right. And um, I saw some pretty cool moves that you did, like maneuvers. And could you maybe teach me? <laughs> You know what? I could teach you, but you gotta wait till you get a little bit older until it's safe. Um, you know, until it's safe for you to allow to be able to get in there. But once you get a little bit older, you, you come in there, you put in the work, you try hard, you learn, you pay attention to what the to what the instructors are telling you. You'll be able to learn all that cool stuff just like I do. All right. Anyways, um, where can we find you on Instagram or Facebook? Uh, I'm primarily on Instagram. My handle is at Remy Danilo. That's at R E M I Z A N I L O. I'm on Instagram. Feel free to follow me on there. You know, like my pictures. Do whatever you want to do on there. That's fine. But uh, that's where you find me at Remy Danilo on Instagram. All right. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the interview. Thank, uh, stay on the flip side and stay frosty. Florida heavyweight champion Chisel Chasing Rams. Alright, and I saw your battle. Um, and Were you the one cheering for the other guy? Uh, oh, your question? No? Or yes? You're hesitating. I was right here. Were you cheering for my opponent? Were you cheering for me? Alright, I'll be watching the footage, but okay, go on. Um, what was in your mind when you were fighting? Don't get hurt. And don't lose. Okay. Oh, and um, I interviewed the other guy and he said the same thing. He said the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> that he was afraid of getting hurt and afraid of losing? Yeah. Uh, um, he's, he's a good kid. He's been wrestling for a little bit now. Uh, he came a little bit late. I think I was supposed to fight somebody else, but uh, it worked out that way. And he's a talented individual. And in a few years, you'll be hearing Remy Danilo, unless he changes his name for some reason. But he'll be a, he'll be a superstar one day. Actually, it was my cousin, who's my godmother, but is that what you meant? Uh, I meant you're wrestling. Well, I'm Chisel, and my real name's Chase Lorenz, so oh. that's my name. I like to keep this stuff as believable as possible, so when Darren wants to call himself Remy, but yeah, I had a promoter that used to call me uh, Chiseled all the time, and that ended up being a nickname, Scott Hall, Razor Ramon, WWE Hall of Famer. I was going by Chase and not Coffee Rants, and he said... That's cheap heat. He says, like, telling a quiet crowd to hush your mouth. I'm trying to say it in the G version. And so it's cheap heat, and he's like, nah, you're just chasing rants. And, but I wanted a little bit of a nickname, so I went with that other one, Chiseled Chasing Rants. So as long as I stay in shape, I'm still chiseled. If for some reason I put on some weight, you can call me Chunky Chase, but I don't want that, or Charming Chase. I would always watch wrestling when I was a kid. I had a cousin that was a promoter in New York that worked with Hulk Hogan and a bunch of other people, and I don't even remember like when I first started watching. But people wanted to play in the NFL, Major League Baseball, uh, basketball, and I just wanted to be a pro wrestler. So I thought, oh, people could do that. Why can't I be a pro wrestler? Started martial arts to do that. Found a wrestling. My mom found a wrestling school when I was 15, 
and I've been like non-stop since then. I've worked for every major wrestling company, and now I help get others into big companies. Uh, my one of my star students and uh, one of my star students, Santana Garrett, just uh, signed with WWE a couple months ago, but it was just announced the other day. So she's going to do awesome. I have some other people on the main roster for WWE, other students in AEW, TNA Impact, Ring of Honor, New Japan, All Japan as well, all over the world. And I just want to keep helping out and doing what I can. And for I'm out of gear, so I don't get it.